Greetings and salutations. I am Farfnir the Stabby, Emperor of Mars and ruler of all of its people. And today, we will be shooting a gun safe. Always remember, wear safety glasses, or you put an eye out, kid. And also, earmuffs, because being deaf is not manly. We're going to start with the 22 long rifle. Well, because it's the smallest. Here we go. All right. Let's go have a little look see. I, I can see it from here where it knocked the paint off. I doubt it made much penetration though, but hey, what do I know? It's not like I've ever done this before. All right, let's see. A little tiny, little tiny, tiny baby dent. You could shoot that probably five times before it made a hole, and it'd have to be the same spot. Okay, so, the next one, that will be my 38 Special with two different kinds of ammunition. One is a copper polymer blend made to be lightweight and frangible, which means if it hits a solid target, it should break apart and not ricochet. So, and then immediately after that, I'm gonna hit it with a good old fashioned hollow point. So let's do that. Let's go look at that. I know I hit it at least once. I think I hit it twice. I've never shot that particular pistol before. It's very lightweight. It was manufactured to be lightweight. So let's see. Oh, I missed it once, huh? Oh, well, I might have to remedy that in my next video. I would, yep, that's the copper polymer. You can tell. You can see the copper in there. I don't know if that's in focus or not, but you can see the copper. Can't believe the second one missed. I guess I need more practice with that thing. That's okay. Now, the next will be a nine millimeter. Uh, two different types of ammunition. One is a Hornaday full metal jacketed high velocity hollow point and the other one is just regular ball ammunition I'm gonna get closer this time because I want to make sure I hit the damn thing Even though I've shot this before I grabbed the wrong one because, well, it's hot and I'm sweaty. I wanted to use the 9mm next, but I don't know, the 45 is, that's one of my faves. I mean, look at that son of a bitch. Bam! That must be the, the Hornaday, the high velocity hollow point, because I mean, look at that sucker. Let me fit my thumb in there. And this one's not much, not further off. It's just, you know, that would still do some naughtiness, but look at that. Bam! So not, none of them so far have gone through it, which means the 9mm won't either, but I still would like to compare the damage that it does. Because tomorrow, we're going to be using rifles. All right. Almost forgot my uh, earmuffs. That's a no-no. All right, one more time. You really 
back up. Pull it. Turn it back up. Wow. You really have to pull the trigger real far back on that Smith & Wesson. Me, per personally, I prefer something a little touchier, but hey. Well, look at that. That was faster. See, it's faster than the, the 45. So it looks like it went a little deeper. The, the dent in this is much bigger, but it looks like it went deeper or just as deep, just with a smaller radius. Interesting. Well, <clears throat> well, tomorrow I will shoot it again with the 38, with the uh, uh, the hollow point ammunition, just for the re so it'll be on record. Um, and we'll tomorrow we'll be shooting it with a 12 gauge shotgun with two different kinds of rounds. Uh, that's double op buck, and these rounds I bought made specifically for bear because as you can see. We're in bar country. Okay. That's all I got for right now. Long live the Martian Empire, and Jesus loves you.